Ladies and gentlemen, this is RedGamingTech.com video. I'm going to be talking about the Oland AKA the AMD HD88 series. The SQU details have finally been leaked, so we can kind of talk about some of the stuff. Admittedly, most of this stuff has not been confirmed yet. But anyway, we can at least talk about the speculations. The first thing I'm going to talk about before I get into the technical specifications is the price point. Many people are very surprised by it. As you know, at the moment, the competition between AMD, formerly ATI of course, and NVIDIA is kind of getting up there. And particularly for the lower end um, market, Intel have kind of given a rabbit punch as well with its integrated graphics systems with the Sandy Bridge, Ivy Bridge and so forth. But for the higher end, the of course, dedicated graphics cards are still the way to go. Now, AMD have decided, if these reports are true, as you can see on the screen right now, that we're going to be seeing 8870 for only $279. Whereas, on the other hand, 8850 is just going to be squeezing in under the $200 mark for $199. This is very impressive, to be completely and utterly blunt. That's a very, very, very good price point. Now, we're going to quickly talk about technical specifications. Obviously, we're not got performance graphs at the moment, so I can't tell you how exactly well it's going to deal in Crisis 2. But what I can tell you is it's going to be, um, well, 28nm. However, the die size is going to be a little bit larger than the current core. However, it is going to give a nice performance increase. We'll also see a somewhat modest clock speed increase for both cards. The 8870 features 5% from the previous generation, while the 8850 features a slightly better but still fairly modest 7% increase. However, what's really impressive is the single precision computing performance, which has gone up massively from the previous generation. We're going to be seeing even the 8850 now putting out 2.99 teraflops, of computing power which is very impressive and even the texture fill rate goes up 70% as well. It's also worth noting that you can see the memory bandwidth particularly on the 8850 goes up a lot so both of the cards are going to be very impressive. I don't particularly think we're going to be getting fill rate issues on this of course who knows. What is worth noting of course is at the moment AMD and NVIDIA are both trying to swat each other repeatedly with ATI I'm sorry, AMD, I'm sorry, I'm very old school, um, really kind of forcing the video into a corner with the pricing at the moment. They've been very aggressive with their price um, reductions, which of course has um, well, prompted the video to follow up in kind. We're going to have to see exactly when um, these things are released, just how much power they're going to be putting out in compared to, of course, the video's latest generation. So anyway, this is just a bit of a short video. Hopefully you guys have found it useful. So for more on this, check out redgamingtech.com. I will be following it, of course. So bye for now, guys, and take care of yourselves.